Okay, the new mill's here. Uh, basically what I did is I had it uh, brought to a local yard um, and had it offloaded on a flatbed. Uh, one of the local wrecking guy, company guys uh, put it on his flatbed and brought it here. Unloaded it without any issues. Uh, these are fairly large machines, uh, especially this particular style. The electrical panel is really big. Uh, <clears throat> and basically, I've got it in the shop and now I've got to actually get it back and get it placed about right where the camera is sitting is where the head of the unit will be, close to the rotary converter. Um, what I'm going to attempt to do is actually just roll this on uh, um, <clears throat> one inch stock and see if we can get it rolled into place. Okay, I've been pretty hard at it. Um, basically what I've done, I've lifted up all of the uh, jack screws so I've got a smooth surface on the bottom. Um, these machines are typically pretty messy underneath. Uh, even if they've been washed off by a machine dealer, just, that's just to be expected. Um, so I've got all the jack screws done. I've got a little makeshift come along here. That seems to be the easiest way to get it back. I've got it lined up. And now I'm pulling it across these rods uh, with this uh, come along. And it's going pretty smooth. Just every couple of feet or every couple of pulls, come in and check everything. Make sure that there's nothing getting too out of whack. Uh, you want to be real careful with your fingers when you're doing this. This machine could shift at any moment. And right now I'm just kind of checking alignment. Uh, to see where it's actually headed. <coughs> so I'll keep pulling and once I get it back, uh, I'll kind of do some initial alignment, uh, get, the, get the jack screws down do an initial level, try to get the power and air hooked up. Uh, then I'll just make sure everything kind of works. Start the cleaning and do the uh, machine setup, which is basically leveling, checking out everything, taking off weight covers. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of work. It'll probably take several weeks. Uh, but my goal tonight is just to get the machine back in the basic location that I want it. Okay, uh, this is probably it for the night. Uh, but I've got it positioned, got my tractor back in the shop, uh, there's plenty of room, enough room to get to the electrical cabinet. Um, all I need to do tomorrow is uh, get a basic level on it, take all of the uh, supporting. Uh, the shipper did a really good job about blocking up the spindle and uh, basically did a little carpentry work in there to hold the bed and that looks like that worked really well. Um, the door, I don't know if that happened during shipping or not, but it's come out of the tracks and I'll need to do a little lifting tomorrow to get that back in the tracks. Uh, overall, this machine's in really good shape. I checked the back, uh, made sure the wiring was correct for my voltage. It looks like it supports a multitude of voltages, um, but it's set up for uh, the three-phase rotary converter. And I found the leg that uh, I want to put the uh, generated leg on. Uh, it's very apparent where that's at. Anyway, I uh, hope you like the videos. Uh, like I say, if you're, I hope this helps somebody out. If you're planning on purchasing a VMC, be prepared, be prepared for some uh, you know, mess and some work. Uh, this took about, this has probably been about five hours today from the time that I actually uh, forklifted the unit onto the truck. A good buddy of mine helped me out uh, to do that. And then the towing company came and unloaded and it, it was really quick. Um, it did take a lot of manpower, one manpower, me, uh, to get this moved back. But uh, using uh, rods, the spec sheet says this machine weighs about 8,400 pounds. I suspect it's a little bit less. I think it's around 7,500 pounds. Um, but it rolls just fine on uh, 
black pop and uh, one inch bar stock. Thanks for watching.